and we are off to Fatima. Ave Maria, cheia de graça, o Senhor é convosco. Bendita sois vós entre as mulheres e bendito é o fruto do vosso ventre, Jesus. Ave Maria, cheia de graça, o Senhor é convosco. Bendita sois vós entre as mulheres e bendito é o fruto do vosso ventre, Jesus. Ave Maria, cheia de graça, o Senhor é convosco. Bendita sois vós entre as mulheres e bendito é o fruto do vosso ventre, Jesus. Ó oh Maria, concebida sem pecado, ó oh meu Jesus, perdoai-nos e livrai-nos do fogo do inferno. Ave Maria, cheia de graça, o Senhor é convosco, bendita sois vós entre as mulheres, e bendita é o fruto do vosso ventre, Jesus. We arrived in Fátima. The first surprise I had was that Fatima is not just a little town. It seems big to me and has uh, all kinds of uh, shops and center town. And really, I thought that this sanctuary was just something for the religious people, but I didn't know about the town. So the town itself, it's a point of attraction to visit. We made from... Um, Lisbon until here like three hours and a half we didn't take the um, highway well you know uh, by now why we don't uh, take the highway because uh, I am afraid and on the main road on the Ice or N road we made three hours and a half and we drive very slowly and we had a pleasant drive over here no fuss no scares very very pleasant and the road is winding and uh, goes through forests and little towns and it's a joy i really loved uh, this drive i wasn't uh, scared at all 
And when uh, we arrived here in Fatima, the first thing that we saw was this big, big parking, so big that we got lost a little. But when you enter the sanctuary, you see this wonderful garden with trees and benches, and it's a sense of peace and uh, tranquility. And then you really got to see the entrance at the church. And even if you are not religious, the building is beautiful. And the altar is very beautifully decorated. And you know, you visit other churches like Notre Dame or the Sixteen Chapel. And this is kind of like that if you don't come here for the religious part. I didn't and I really enjoyed to see this building. And it's so, so big, grand, and it gives you a sense of, uh, I don't know, puts, puts things in perspective. And when you finish with the church from uh, the inside, you get to see the inner court. And the inner court is the um, place where people pray and listen to prayers and light candles and put flowers. And then they got to walk on this white path reciting this beautiful poem. Actually, it's a prayer, but for me it's a poem and it's beautiful. I imagine this video to be suited for the ones who cannot uh, come here and visit this place themselves or they went here and they just want to revisit or see again some wonderful, wonderful images of this place and live, maybe remember again what they felt when uh, they were here. Really, this video doesn't require many words. It's just a matter of feeling the place and remembering the place if you already went here. And on the way here, on a winding road through Fatima, we saw a lot of people just walking miles and miles to get here on foot. And it inspires in me a sense of community, of togetherness, of peace. I will leave Fatima more peaceful and with a sense of purpose and more understanding on life. I don't know if this is the purpose of places like this, but this is what Fatima meant to me. What we express by the word suffering seems to be particularly essential to the nature of man. It's as deep as the man itself, precisely because it manifests in its own way that depth which is proper to man and in its own way surpass it. Suffering seems to belong to man's transcendence. It's one of those points in which man is in a certain sense destined to go beyond himself and he is called to this in a mysterious way. Um pardão, a união, a fé, a verdade, a esperança, a alegria, a luz, a consolação, a compreensão, a partilha e a vida eterna, questões tão fundamentais para nós e para o nosso tempo. After we left the sanctuary, we just took a stroll to the streets of Fatima and just explored the city. And after that, we just stopped at a local restaurant. Just we wanted to sample the, the local cuisine. So for me, I ordered bacalao bras. I uh, just went with this because I know how it tastes and it's safe. 
and Flavius of course uh, he went for the bife with eggs and uh, a soup and the mother of Flavius also had bakalawa brass and uh, his father went for the chicken. All in all it was a beautiful meal and we really enjoyed it just to go in the first restaurant and just sample the, the local cuisine.